Oh, I must move something on my schedule so that I have more time with them. I must, I must have as much time in the world for my masterpiece, and yet... So much art to create, so much art to take in, so little time, so little time, so little time, so little time, so little time. Time. Darling. How have you been? Come, come, come. It is absolutely marvelous to see you again, my dear. Truly. Truly it is. I am... You'll have to forgive me. I am utterly ecstatic that you are here. I'm practically bouncing off of the walls with energy, can't you tell? Hmm. Like I said, forgive me, forgive me. How have you been? You look as though the weight of the world on your shoulders is taking its toll. I am so sorry to hear that. Well, if I may, I think today would be the perfect opportunity for you to just have a moment to yourself, you see. Truly shed the weight of all you carry. See, for today's artwork piece, I want to do a steady in your essence. Last time I feel as though we barely scratched the surface. I feel like there's, there's so much more to know about you, and I want to know it. I want to paint it, to sculpt it. I want to create just an immaculate art piece in and of itself that people can walk through and feel like they have gotten to know the true you. You see, if, if you are willing, that is perfect. I am, I am so pleased. I am so delighted to hear that. Oh. I thought I remembered, I thought I remembered what it was to work with you, but my darling, you mustn't touch, mustn't touch without the gloves. You are even better than I remember in person. Today is going to be transcendent. Can you feel it? Can you feel it? You should, you should, you should be able to feel the transcendence beckoning to us today. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, I do not want to waste any time. Normally I would offer you a drink at this moment, but I find that I want you uninhibited, if you will. Not that inhibitions are something that I, I think is particularly bad for an art form. Truly, sometimes the best art comes at those moments when you let your mind wander, be at ease. But for today, for today I want you. Only you. Every bit of you. So, I will not be offering champagne, and as a matter of fact, I have sworn off champagne entirely. You see, I had a friend introduce me to absinthe. Have you heard of it? Delightful drink, really. An entire tragic history of being outlawed, illegal, and then... The American version of it is watered down nonsense, not the true, not the true absinthe in its purest form. I find that that speaks volumes to what culture can do. Mm. Mm, take that in for a second. Mm -hmm. Let that simmer and bubble within you. Let the rage boil up as to being told what we can and cannot drink. And then to be told that what we must drink is a watered-down version of what truly is. Don't you find that incites rage? No. That is okay. To, to look beyond what one is told. To say it does not matter to me. I know. I know the weight of things regardless. That seems... 
This is why you are my muse. This is it. I have been so excited for today, and now I find that... Hmm. Not enough time. There's never enough time. We should get started. All right. Well, as I was saying, I think for today I want to focus on the essence of who you are. Some may call it essence, some may call it energy, some may call it spirit, but I... I merely want to capture what it is underneath. The layers, the day-to-day -day mundane, but do not mistake me, darling, you could never be mundane, no. I want to capture in color what it is that makes you tick. Mm -hmm. As such, I find that there is always a layer of, of dirt, of grime, of this everyday living that encapsulates us, tells us what we can and cannot be, and I want to wipe that from you, if that is okay. I would like to gently wipe your face off with a sponge cloth to both literally and figuratively reset the surface today. Wonderful. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Let me just get that now. Now, I do not have my gloves on as of yet, but I will not be touching you with my hands. I will only be touching you with this cloth. I also have two different kinds of very gentle, delicate soaps I could be using today. I would like to know your preference, both to further make you more comfortable, but also to get to know more of a sense of you, personally. You see, anything in these soaps, like I've mentioned, they're very gentle, very delicate, very delicate indeed. These soaps are homemade. I do not put anything on or in my body that I do not know where it came from, or it didn't know what its life's meaning, its life's purpose was, you see. So I have a patio garden out back that I keep some lavender and roses on, and truly I like to watch the full life cycle. I like to watch them from seed to bloom to death. There is something so meaningful in that. The full cycle, I find we focus too much on the blooms and not enough on the in-betweens. Indeed. But regardless, the reason for mentioning this is to let you know that I have two options today. I have a lavender soap and a rose soap, depending on your individual preference, and I will use whichever one you choose. Interesting choice. I did not have you pegged for that one. Hmm. Alright, so I will use that one today. Are you okay with me touching your face with this cloth? Beautiful, thank you. And as I wash your face with this cloth, I want you to focus on what it is to be cleansed, to be made new. I want you to focus on what you are being cleansed from. What are the things within yourself that you do not find necessary, and why? Why don't you find them necessary? Why do you want to be cleansed of them? Because sometimes things are dirty. You have a point. You do have a point there, but think on it. I must confess, this is partially an exercise in 
having you focus on your truest self, but there is an element of selfishness to it. It allows me to see you closer, to touch the pains of your face, your magnificent bone structure. Truly appreciate you. In all of your magnificence, you are magnificent, my dear. You are a sight to behold. After all, I wouldn't choose just any one for my muse, no. No. Only you. Marvelous. Simply. And perfect. Has anyone ever complimented you on your neck before? They have not, because it's a strange compliment to give. Well, I must give it. You have the most extraordinary neck. What does that mean? Quite frankly, I find that I don't know. I am not quite sure what that means myself, but I see your neck and I know that it is... It is a neck above other necks. Yes. It is a neck that makes other necks jealous. No, no. When you think about who you are as a person. What are the first three words that come to mind? Tell me. I must know. I simply must. One. Two. Three. Fascinating. I would not have begged you for those words, and yet, you continue to amaze me. But I can see it. I can see those words written all over you. Your own personal fingerprint. Do you feel as though the dirt and the weight of day-to-day living has been washed from you and you've been cleansed from it? You think so? All right. It is brave, it is bold of you to not make any sort of extravagant claims. I appreciate that about you. You tell me when you are sure of something and you let me know when you are not. I cannot even begin to tell you how much I truly appreciate that. You see, art requires honesty with oneself about oneself, about the world one finds oneself in. To be an artist is to be honest. Eyes wide open, ready to depict Whatever one finds, no matter how grim, how beautiful, and in your case, how breathtaking. All right, 
Moving on. Why don't I show you what we'll be working with today? For today, we have this lovely cotton aged paper that we'll be working with. I wanted to go with something that carried age to it so that the the brightness of your youth in comparison of the glory of your essence shone through beyond the cotton because I need a good I need a good texture for our medium today. Which by the way I I showed your sketch to an artist friend of mine. I know I know, I know. I know that I said I don't show unfinished sketches to anyone outside of a gallery, but this just felt right. And right it was. I was glad I listened to my intuition because... They gave me these to work with. They felt that it would capture your essence in a much more meaningful way than mere pencil on paper, that it should bring some dimension, some life to your form, and I don't know why I didn't think of it sooner, but pastels. Pastels are certainly the thing to capture your energy, or essence, or spirit, or whatever you want to call it. peek inside. You can hear them moving about. Forgive me, I just get so excited about new art supplies. There is something romantic about it in a way. The, the longing, the anticipation, the excitement. Let's begin. It has a foam cover over it to keep the art supplies nice and snug and safe in their little beds. And a further add to our anticipation. I know I'm stalling. I cannot help it though. There is something so beautiful about the moment before the master. Delightful look at all of these incredible colors. Okay. 
these are works of art in and of themselves. What do you think? Do any in particular catch your eye? Fascinating. I'll make sure to use that one then. What about a second color? What would you say your second favorite color is? Curious. I find that a person's first favorite color tells you what they wish the world to believe about. The second tells you more about the person themselves. What is your third favorite color? No, no, no tricks. The third favorite color simply tells you what their third favorite color is. Shall we? I remember mentioning the first time I met you that you held the weight of the stars in your eyes. I still believe that. Looking at you now, it is, it is as if you only add the cosmos with each day. You are truly a thing of beauty. You know, I believe there are many people who look at the night sky and see nothing but black and stars, which there is nothing wrong with that. There's a purity, I suppose, to that, but you strike me as someone who sees the blue and the purples hidden within its depths. Who sees the faraway greens and pinks dancing among the stars? I think those are the colors we'll use today. Unless something strikes me in particular. I want to capture your essence as a night sky, as a galaxy. Too beautiful for one to grasp in their hands, but yet so breathtaking that we'd never stop trying. That is you for me. So breathtaking that I'm afraid. I'm afraid I will never stop trying. All right. No. This box holds some of my other supplies with it. It has been my faithful companion all these years. I could have upgraded to bigger and grander things, but... I keep returning back to it. I suppose that says something about me now, doesn't it? The hopeless romantic. Nostalgic. 
afraid of moving on, one might say, but none will ever know. Looking within. We have our gloves for today. Uh uh uh. Not to worry. I know you looked at the white gloves. I saw the fear into your eyes upon considering the white gloves with the pastels. I have backup. I want to be able to see the pastels blending together on the gloves as I paint you. I think the gloves in and of themselves will become an art form, an art piece to be presented in the gallery alongside this one of the masterpiece itself and one that became the masterpiece, one that touched art. One must dirty one's fingers. For beauty. Hmm. All right. to create the next Mona Lisa. Although between you and me, I think she was rather uninspired, whatever people say about her. Let's create something better than the Mona Lisa, shall we? I think I want to go with a layered effect for today, so we're going to start. Possibly match your essence. This one. Now, as we do this, I'm going to ask you some questions. If you do not want to answer, that is fine, but it's just for me to get a a better idea of what makes you, you, to make this painting, this portrait, this visage, more you. Now, what would you say most motivates you in life? I think I can capture that in this upper left hand corner here quite well. What would you say is the deepest desire?
curious. I wouldn't have picked that for you, but... That lends to your complexity. If you had to pick, which you do have to pick, would you say you're more like your mother or your father? No, you have to choose. It's imperative for me to get the next color correct. That answer rings of a deep green. And it's hidden somewhere, nestled into the smaller corners of your being, whether you like it or not. Tell me about them. What were they like? What makes you like them? I see. Indeed. And is that a good thing or a bad thing in your mind? And what makes it so? You vex me, darling. Would you say that has had a great impact on your life? Hmm. Mm -hmm. Now you've said which parent you are most like, but which one do you like the most? No, come now, we all have our favorites. Hmm. Curious, isn't it? That no matter how hard we try, other people's choices still have impacts on us. No matter how small and imperceptible they may seem, we are all responsible for the weight of who we choose to be. 
and how we choose to act towards others, are we not? Hmm. What is your favorite luxury or perceived luxury or do you eschew them entirely in the commodification of luxury? Hmm. Remind me to get you one sometime. How often would you say you enjoy said luxury? Oh my dear, that is not often enough. No, 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 that simply will not do. A commodification it may be, but we must enjoy the things we take joy in. However simple and silly they may seem. What is life without its joys and beauties? In the same manner that art needs both light and dark, you and I need both pain and joy and to chase after pain and only pain as some of my compatriots do is a fool's errand. You should take your, take your fill of both. That is true, that is true. But... One must know the silliness of fun. Mm. That's a perfectly valid case study. When was the last time you experienced something truly joyful? Mm. And where did you feel that sensation? In your head? In your heart? Fascinating. And did you feel it in whirls and swirls? Or did you feel it in rays? Shooting out of your being. Worlds. Then I shall add worlds.
you think of yourself as a circle person or a square person? Very important question, I assure you. Mm-hmm. And what do you think that says about you? Mm-hmm. Intriguing. What is the thing you are most proud of in life? No, no, please go on, I want to hear all about it. How could I paint you if I do not know what you take pride in? That is an incredible accomplishment. You should feel proud of that. And don't let them tell you any differently. What is the life lesson you have learned the most from? Mm. Mm -hmm. No, no, that is not silly at all. Why ever would you say such a thing? Anyone who tells you that is silly is just self-conscious that they themselves have not learned that lesson. And they worry that they are behind instead of focusing on the fact that you are on different tracks entirely. Do not let the self-consciousness of others guide how you feel about your own life. And do not forget that you are a masterpiece. Sure, there might be someone who prefers a rose to the lavender on my patio or the lavender to the rose, but they are both beautiful in their own way. Do you think the daffodil is jealous of the sunflower? Or the sunflower feels self-conscious because he is taller than the rest of the garden? In the same manner, you, my darling, are your own work of art. Do not let others tell you. You should look any different. If you had to pick one thing you would go back and say to your previous self, what would it be and why? Mm. Curious.
Mm-hmm. What do you think would have changed in your life if you had given such a prophecy? Do you really think you'd be happier knowing that now? Or knowing that then, therefore changing your life now? who you are today. If you had to pick the one person you loved more than anything else on this earth, who would that be? An intimate question, I suppose, yes, but I am painting your very essence, it's quite important to me to know this. And darling, this isn't some school play yard, I'm not going to go off and announce it to the rest of the world. What is their name? I wanted that reaction. Your eyes softened when you said their name. That is a thing of beauty that is hard to capture on paper, but Try nonetheless. Hmm. I am blending and melding all the different colors of you together. And the patterns, how I see them around you, within you. So that in the end it is not the one color, but it is a representation of the many that make up the whole that is you. Do you prefer sunset or sunrise? It tells you a lot about a person. Hmm. Why is that? You say that with so much conviction, I might just have to try it at some point. 
No, no, being awake at that time of day. I tend to keep particularly strange hours. It helps me focus more on my art and less on the things of this world. Which I suppose you could argue my art is about the things of this world, but art transcends the things of the current day and age, don't you know? making sure that I have captured everything that I wish to capture of you today. Yes. Your depth. Your beauty. Your colorful personality. Your charm. Your wit. There is so much more to you than just your outward appearance. As ever magnificent as it is. It is what lies beneath that truly makes you such an incredible specimen. I am absolutely delighted to be working with you. I hope you'll come back again after this. We have so much more art to create. Wonderful. I think I will add just the finishing touches to my piece here. Blend it together and at any point, feel free to slip out and away. I, I think I have what I need for today, but I'll be holding you here and here. It has been an absolute delight. Now forgive me, I must focus. <laughs> 